Suddenly, the exercise is interrupted by an unknown presence. For many years, there have been reports of unidentified flying objects crashing on Earth. Some believe these crashed UFOs may contain advanced alien technology that could change history. However, there appear to be continuous efforts to hide the information about these incidents from the public. Specialized teams rapidly retrieve the crashed objects and discourage witnesses, often described as mysterious men in black arriving unexpectedly in unmarked vehicles. It raises questions. Who oversees these secret missions? What motivates the secrecy around possible alien encounters and technology? You'll take a look at some of the most convincing cases of how documents and reports get wiped out and how the incident seemingly gets dealt with the secret UFO team. Recently, a global initiative was started to release previously classified documents detailing UFO incidents. Examining these files have uncovered truths long hidden from the public. The information governments have withheld for so long may soon come to light. But there is an entire secret team running this entire operation. But they only appear when something unexplained or mysterious happens. One night, several observers notice a glowing blue object blazing across the sky before crashing in the remote desert by the Colorado River. It vanishes behind a ridge without a sound. Among the witnesses is Frank Costigan, a former airport security chief who spots something peculiar about the response. Instead of expected rescue crews, a fleet of unidentified black helicopters appears, hovering over the site before departing with a large luminous object dangling from a cable. Costigan contacts David Hayes, the local radio broadcaster, to share the sighting. Interestingly, Hayes reports having seen a procession of nondescript government vehicles racing to the crash scene. The coordinated response suggests to both men this wasn't the first such operation. Indeed, witnesses often describe these mysterious men in black types showing up after UFO sightings and alleged abductions in unmarked shoppers and vehicles. Despite multiple observers in this incident, Authorities deny any crashed UFO or specialized retrieval effort. The case is officially dismissed, although experts recognize the hallmarks of a classic cover-up specifically aimed at securing UFO wreckage and technology. The question is, who directs these secret missions and what discoveries might they have already made? And it's not just one incident. In 1947, an unidentified object crashed in the New Mexico desert near Roswell. Numerous witnesses observed military personnel recovering debris. Initial statements indicated the wreckage was from a downed spacecraft, but those claims were swiftly reversed the next day. The handling of the incident fueled skepticism and spawned an enduring community of UFO conspiracists. Compared to early recovery efforts like Roswell, recent operations, such as the alleged crashed scene retrieval near Needles, California, appear more sophisticated and covered. So, what changed in the interim regarding these secret missions? The answer may lie in the decades-old playbook of a renowned government manual, codenamed Majestic 12. Majestic 12 is the document's outline protocols for securing crash sites, handling materials, and managing media interest. If authentic, it could explain the evolution of recovery tactics from clumsy to confidential. Of course, the government denies the manuals are real, but for some reason, that only deepens the mystery. In the wake of the 1947 Roswell event, UFO fever gripped America, but the Air Force seemingly took a more sober stance. They purportedly published a classified manual outlining protocols for securing crash sites and concealing evidence from the public. These detailed recovery and disposal instructions bear striking similarity to operations like the alleged UFO retrieval near Needles, California, in 2022. The military's willingness to employ extreme tactics to suppress UFO incidents suggests a veil of secrecy around the phenomena and recovered materials. But who coordinates these cloak-and-dagger missions? 
Some claim a powerful group called Majestic 12 oversees America's UFO cover-ups, stooping to brazen criminality to meet their enigmatic ends. In the next installment, we explore the shadowy organization at the heart of the country's UFO retrieval efforts. We also unravel their alleged role in the controversial death of a key witness, a sinister move in service of safeguarding their secret quest into the unknown. The closer one peers behind the curtain, the deeper the mysteries become. In 1965, locals observe an odd fiery object blazing through the night sky near Kecksburg, Pennsylvania in 1965. Though initially resembling a meteor, it abruptly changes trajectory before crashing in nearby woods. Witnesses rushing to the impact site spot American soldiers hastily retrieving the downed craft. The bystanders are firmly warned to remain silent. Within a day, the media aligns with the official stance. No UFO crash occurred, nor was the military present. The sophisticated nature and secrecy around the Kecksburg recovery mirrors more recent suspected UFO crash retrievals, like the 2022 Needles, California event. If connected, what organization coordinates these operations? Some posit a covert group arose in the early Cold War to harness alien technology in the space race. This prototype, Majestic 12 outfit, laid the foundations for today's UFO containment procedures, evolving in sophistication but bound in purpose to conceal extraterrestrial contact from the public at any cost. Records remain classified, ensuring the truth lingers in the shadows. But something phenomenal happened in the early 1950s, when the Air Force formed an elite recovery squad composed of veteran pilots to secure downed Soviet aircraft and study their technology. But in 1953, Air Defense Command Regulation 200-2 dramatically expanded their mission, tasking them to rapidly retrieve crashed unknown objects, marking a rare official recognition of UFOs. A 1955 map shows these quick response intelligence agents stationed nationwide, positioned to recover alien wreckage. But where did the debris end up? Some experts believe a powerful group called Majestic 12 was formed after Roswell to control these artifacts, operating without oversight, even from the president. President Kennedy reportedly sought full transparency from Majestic 12, uneasy with their unilateral power and suspicious agenda. Seeking answers about the UFO cover-up may have fueled tensions with the paranoid intelligence group, leading conspiracy theorists to speculate Kennedy's assassination resulted from this shadowy conflict. The truth of these allegations swirls with rumors of an ill-fated UFO retrieval expedition launched by Majestic 12 itself, a mission that risked public exposure of their clandestine alien tech experiments. The full story waits to be unsealed within classified records. In 1978, at New Jersey's Fort Dix, a reported eyewitness named Jeffrey Morse observed over a dozen glowing UFOs hovering over the base. When state police investigated, an officer allegedly spotted a small gray-skinned alien and panicked, firing at the being. Morse later discovered the lifeless body on a disused runway. After the base immediately locked down, a mysterious retrieval team took control, securing the remains for transport to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base home of the legendary Hangar 18 that some believe houses Roswell wreckage. Morse was summoned to the Ohio base and threatened against ever discussing the extraordinary event. If true, why the secrecy around what could be definitive proof of extraterrestrial life? Some suggest government recovery units suppress evidence to shield the public from potential hazards of alien contact. In our next installment, we explore the dangers of UFO encounters and uncover what might be the confidential key to understanding why crash retrieval ops shroud these incidents in secrecy. The truth lingers in classified records, but mounting testimony urges lifting the veil on possible alien life already discovered. Before we move further, if you're new here and enjoy mysterious content, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel 
and turn on notification to never miss out on our future videos. In 1980, Texas residents Betty Cash and Vicki Landrum had a frightening roadside encounter. Driving at night, they spotted a glowing diamond-shaped craft hovering low above them. When they exited the car to observe the oddity, an intense wave of heat emanated from the object. Shortly after, around two dozen unmarked helicopters converged on the scene. But as the UFO vanished into the darkness, the choppers pursued it, ignoring the shaken witnesses. In the aftermath, Cash and Landrum fell seriously ill with symptoms resembling radiation exposure, burns, hair loss, and fatigue indicating possible contamination. The incident raises alarming questions. Were the women unintended casualties of a UFO weapon? What agency dispatched the mystery choppers to intercept the craft? Some speculate they were part of a clandestine recovery program initiated decades ago to collect alien technology for military engineers. However, others contend these units serve a more benevolent purpose shielding civilians from potentially dangerous extraterrestrial contact happening more often than the public knows. Without the intervention of such response teams, experts warn we may face greater risks from the UFO phenomenon than authorities care to admit. The truth awaits buried inside classified records. Witnesses to a 1965 UFO incident describe emergency personnel in hazmat suits recovering mysterious debris, suggestive of dangerous contamination. Former NASA scientist Clark McClellan even alleges the space agency actively participated in the crash site, cleanup, and examination. Then, in 1969, Congress quietly passed an extraterrestrial exposure law making it illegal for civilians to interact with any cosmic object reaching Earth, punishable by involuntary quarantine in the name of containing hazards. But was public safety the real priority? Some skeptics argue the rapid militarization of space exploration in the Cold War era sparked obsessive secrecy around any evidence of alien technology, wielding claims of contagion to suppress leaks. Restricting access enabled specialized containment teams to conduct UFO retrievals in the shadows. Rather than transparency around potential health risks, critics point to a pattern of weaponizing secrecy through classified experiments on recovered materials. If UFOs posed a legitimate broad threat, why would authorities conceal that danger from their own citizens? The truth lingers behind locked doors as intrigued observers continue glimpsing unexplained lights in the sky. Now, there are many more mysterious incidents happening around the world, and this video will show you what I'm talking about. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to channel to watch more mysterious videos like this one.